But aren't you going to have quite a hard time convincing those authorities that as an enlightened man, you didn't know this was happening? There is no reason for an enlightened man to know for these things that they are happening. It is not part of enlightenment. People have strange ideas about enlightenment. Enlightenment simply means I know myself. It does not mean that I know that my room is bugged. Enlightenment and bugging has no relationship. <laughs> it will be good for you, rather than asking about enlightened people and worrying about what they are doing and why they are doing. The simple ways become enlightened and you will know. <laughs> Between enlightenment and the state of unenlightenment, it is a very long distance call. And languages are different. Something is said, something else is heard. And this has been going on for centuries, misunderstanding upon misunderstanding. The phone rang <laughs> at the maternity hospital and an excited voice at the other end of the line said, send an ambulance quickly. My wife, Maureen, is about to have a baby. Calm down, replied the nurse. Tell me, is this her first baby? No, said Paddy. This is her husband is speaking. <laughs> Paddy was very ill, <laughs> ill indeed. So Maureen sent for the doctor. After a brief examination, the doctor announced that Paddy was dead. <laughs> I am not, said Paddy from his bed. Be quiet, said Maureen. Do you think you know better than the doctor? <laughs> My wife, Bridget, son confided to Paddy, is an angel. You are lucky said Paddy, my wife Maureen is, is still alive. <laughs> Jaime Goldberg <laughs> was having his first session with the psychoanalyst. Do you cheat on your wife? Asked the shrink. My God, said Jaime, who else could I cheat on? <laughs> A Californian psychiatrist was driving along in his car 
when he saw a man lying on the sidewalk, he stopped his car and got out. It turned out that the man had been mugged and left for dead. Quick, said the shrink, tell me who did this to you? He needs help immediately. <laughs> An Indian businessman who has made millions after a childhood of poverty was on his deathbed giving advice to his son. Listen, son, he said, I have won my success to two principles, honesty and wisdom. Honesty is if you promise to deliver some goods no matter what happens, even if it means bankruptcy, deliver. I will try to remember father, replied the boy, and what about wisdom? Wisdom is simple, my boy, continued the father, never make any promises. <laughs> From the place you are, don't be worried about actions, people who are existing on a totally different plane. If you really want to understand them, reach to the same consciousness. And you will understand without fail. 